Hello there, Taurus, and welcome. Let's find out what are the blessings that the universe is delivering to you, Taurus. And this is for Taurus and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Taurus, let's see here. Well, we got uh, money, we got resources, we got feeling abundant, new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So something is happening here where you just need to be aware that you don't need a chase for nothing. It's coming to you. It's washing over you. So I was just thinking of the word washing and replacing washing with watching. So not, not only is it washing over you, but watch and wait and see what is happening here with something new. Okay, so good. You are in aligned here with um, accumulating more prosperity into your life, Taurus. Let's find out what else the universe is delivering to you that are your blessings. Ah, well, that came out real funny. <laughs> oh my God, truth. Okay, just wanted to land right there. <laughs> Boom, okay. Um, there may be a sense of you separating yourself or uh, coming into more comfort with the idea that you can trust yourself over others or a path that, you know, perhaps uh, not many have embarked on, but you are. So look at this. We've got Raven spirit here, the truth. Oh, we got some type of truth and maybe a sense of uh, justice and balance taking place, which I see as divine justice. So, you know, there may be um, a truth that's going to be exposed. Now, <clears throat> It could challenge you. I'm not saying it will, uh, but you know that's that's a blessing because it's it's like um, it might be like a bittersweet. So just take it if it resonates. It may not for all of you, but it's almost like you know it's been a long time coming, and finally th those things that you've been feeling or sensing, you've got some type of proof. You've got facts to back it up. And also, I see you standing more in your truth, you know, something about you being set apart. I mean, I think that's why <laughs> that card, excuse me, that card fell like right over there. It's like you are meant to, you know, be distinct and different on purpose here. Okay, now I would say if you haven't already, don't be afraid to remove yourself from petty situations or uh, the pettiness of others at this time, okay? You are being um, brought into a place where you don't need to carry on too much of others' burdens or, you know, it's just unnecessary things for you to carry. You're not doing that any longer. Okay, what else for the blessings? support. Nice. Waves of prosperity. See, uh, people, information, feeling that you're advancing and taking, and at the same time, feeling, um, as you're advancing that you are taken care of by great spirit. I, I love this card where this being is sleeping on this Pegasus and, and really enjoying a time to just rest, to feel that support you're going to receive all kinds of support in many areas of your life, spiritual support, emotional support, material support, ask for help and getting more rest, nurturing yourself. You know, I was talking about feeling the burdens of others, you know, with that energy, I get the 10 of wands, which can speak about, you know, uh, paying more attention to boundaries, you know, knowing your own limits of not getting so overwhelmed or burnt out with things, right? So healthy boundaries here, if you haven't implemented them or really come to some type of, you know, truth and foundation with it, I do see that you are stepping into that and you are very clear about who and what you are, where you begin and end and where another or others begin and end. And at the same time, this is a good time for you to practice receiving support. I feel that there's energies that are naturally drawn to you. You know, birds are messengers for you as well. And there may be something tied in with this raven spirit. You know, I'm getting the number five for you, actually, Taurus. So there could be something about five days, five weeks, uh, five months, or the fifth month when it comes to timing. All right, what else? 
patience, pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play while you wait. So here you are being patient because you already know what you need and who you need, whatever it is, it's coming towards you effortlessly because it's drawn to you like a magnet. I'm getting the word sorceress or sorcerer, you know, um, I feel that you are just that you are a sorceress or sorcerer and you're finding your own magic. You're finding your own power if you haven't already. And so you don't mind being patient. In fact, you're seeing this patience and this time of waiting as preparation time and time to have fun doing what you want to do. Because again, I just feel that you are set apart for a reason and there are things that you're going to want to do and you will enjoy doing perhaps by yourself and that's okay. Something strong is, um, you know, being built on that. And that is part of what the uh, universe is delivering to you as a blessing, right? Maybe even having more patience than, you know, you realize you have. Finding that others actually have patience with you too. All right, let's see what else. Okay, I'm also getting the number eight with you too. So <laughs> five and eight eight days, eight weeks, eight months, the eighth, eighth month expansion, spread your wings and soar. Here you are expanding, right? Because something has set you apart. You're owning it. You're loving it. You're spreading your wings and soaring, sharing your message and shining your light. Ooh, yes. And show the world what you're made of. Mm -hmm. This is what I, I just, oh my gosh, Taurus, I really see this as the, the higher font card here with you, which is again, um, a card of, uh, faith, trusting in forces, um, being shown or being the one that can show, show others a sacred way. Um, and also, you know, doing something that is tried and true, perhaps without even, without even knowing it, cause you're really following some type of inner guidance here, your inner compass, you're no longer hiding your truth or dimming your light. You're no longer having to carry on anything or anyone's burdens or baggage, especially too. I'm getting something about not having to dim your light to make others comfortable as well. Something with this prosperity is going to make you not only have patience and get the support you need, but you're going to feel more expansion here to, to discover more truth, right? So there may be this like search for some type of answers to life here that have some type of deep meaning for you. What else? generosity. Oh my God. I love this. That generosity to me is tied in with that, the higher font. And so is the prosperity. And we've got the maple spirit here. Look at that rooted and grounded and strong. You know, this maple had to endure the storms of life, right? And yes, perhaps there has been some branches that had broken off, but new ones grow. I am seeing like a king or the queen of pentacles actually coming through with this card of generosity. We're feeling real abundant. So you're finding some type of, um, you know, place in life where you, you feel generous with your energy. You feel generous with your resources. You're just feeling so rooted and stable because you are also sensing and feeling the generous energies that the spiritual realm is gifting to you. And so when I'm talking about the king or the queen of pentacles, this is another card where you have come to some type of achievement with your finances, with your resources. And yes, maybe perhaps take it if it resonates with a uh, partner, maybe a spouse, maybe a business partner, maybe a companion someone who will nurture and support you. And you may be that person that offers others because I see you as this tree <laughs> and others may naturally gravitate towards you and sit under the tree because you've got so many leaves here. Okay. But it's not, to, not to the point where you feel depleted of your energy because again, you're feeling generous. Okay. What else?
Pegasus. I was, oh my goodness. That's really interesting too. I didn't even know that this card was in this deck. Um, I was just really noticing you writing on the back of this Pegasus. So, you know, Pegasus may be uh, speaking to you symbolically here, but I just get that horse energy, stamina, power, a companion, right? Feeling like you don't have to handle everything all on your own and discovering that you are transcending, transmuting unwanted or unnecessary, un excuse me, unnecessary energies that don't belong with you, right? And you're moving into maybe even unknown territories because here you are standing out, you know, and so you're embarking on something here where you have broken free here. And actually you're healing something within the, an uh, with ancestors as well, ancient ones, because you're discovering and reaching a level that they haven't already. Ooh, it's, uh, you're, you're going into like a whole different timeline here. Expansion, transcendence. I was talking about this merging of realities here. What else? We got the toadstools growth. It's exactly what you need. Okay, so there's nothing that you need to do. <laughs> well, obviously, there are things that we have to focus on. Something is already grounded and, whoops, wrong, well, that just flew out there. Something is already grounded and growing here. So just continue, you know, ideas or situation that feel comfortable to you that gives you a sense of growth because it is about expansion. And with that, yes, we may need to be flexible or be willing to get out of our comfort zone at times, but it's going to be worth it. And this is a blessing to see yourself growing, to see growth in your life. Look at that abundance opportunities here because you have grown so much. And I'm noticing number 44 here. So we've got, you know, something about your hard work paying off, your determination paying off in a very stable and secure way here. What else? Freedom, eagle spirit, because you, you come to a place of not being burdened, uh, owning some type of thing that is very distinct about you. I love that eagle spirit is coming through as well. Because <laughs> there is something here where you just know better than to um, have to, you know, like this Eagle, um, for example, oh my gosh. And just, I'm just noticing that there's actually a Pegasus right at the bottom corner there too. See, we've got a partner, a companion here. Um, wow. Okay. Very unique and wonderful and majestic energies coming together or riding alongside one another. And it just works here. But with this Eagle, I do feel that, you know, you're in a place of true alignment, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. So, you know, you're not, you're not, um, it's not that you don't care. It's just that you know that you are done caring, <laughs> that you've had to care enough. And now the time for that to close is done. And so the burdens have lifted. You're feeling a lot more free because you're getting the support. Um, you're able to express how you need support because communication is clear, because there's some type of revelation in truth. What else? I get something too about um, entrepreneurship, trusting that, believing in that, or yes, being able to have a side business perhaps for some of you. We, ooh, we got the dragon and the power. We've got something supernatural going on here. A lot of you, you know, you're discovering or rediscovering how powerful you really are. Oh my gosh. And that willow sp spirit flexibility, you're moving with spirit here. <laughs> Again, just discovering that your patience is uh, paying off, that you are receiving divine guidance, uh, that your inner compass and your moral compass line up with spirit's compass and the compass that universe wants you to focus on or gravitate towards because it's delivering you these blessings, power, flexibility, being able to move and groove and do what you need to do and what you want to do because you're not hindered or bogged down by other things or 
limiting ideas or thoughts, whether it's brought on to or brought on by oneself or others. And we've got that dragon spirit. So something supernatural is actually going to reveal itself. I know that you've had little glimpses of it, but just continue to know that magic truly is alive in your life, Taurus. What else? Leadership, see, oh my God, the stag spirit. Uh, okay, I just, I get more, I get more of higher sources or higher power in charge. I get more of that, the higher font. I get more about, you know, you trusting and thriving that you were born to be a leader because you know how to navigate yourself here. So don't deny yourself what you deserve because you're going to be in a position and see the blessings that put you in a position of great leadership because you've been so strong spiritually here and it's paying off. What else? New beginnings. We got the daffodil fairy here. <laughs> there, there, there may be something about really getting to enjoy um, the beautiful things in nature, but what a beautiful beginning here. Some type of new beginning that you are going to be open to. You know, I just sense sunshine with this um, card, something being exposed. Let's get more about that. New beginnings. Yeah, something's not going to be on repeat or you know, what may have felt like a cycle here. And I just noticed this being that's taking, that's sleeping here again. And uh, okay. I just noticed there's a being here <laughs> and then, and the dragon again with the, um, a supernatural, majestic, powerful, uh, companion that's always with you. You know, your guardian, your guardian angel and the ancestors do a lot of shape shifting and, and they do nudge you to remind you that you're never alone. Look at this butterfly spirit transformation. <laughs> it's just so perfect. It's like you really do deserve to be around other butterfly people, right? And sometimes you just have to have patience, right? Because not everyone is turning into a butterfly at the same time, but you are gravitating towards situations, ideas where you can trust that your wings are going to allow you to fly and fly as high as you want. I mean, it's, it's, Oh, I thought there was like another card. I've, I'm like getting this thing where it's like, you just got to trust that you're going to fly because you're never going to fall. Even if you perceive yourself as falling, you only, uh, you only get back up and hit a, another uh, top level again. You're owning your transformation. You're loving this uh, p powerful place of leadership you know, too, that spirit is supporting you because there's, there's not going to be, you're not going to be like confused about where your real resources are coming from. What else? Forest temple enlightenment. See, there's something very powerful happening with sacred beginnings, um, activations that help you feel enlightened, that help you also have foresight here, right? So there may be something about um, tuning in and tapping into predictions, but I would say don't go too far into the future. Not only do I see enlightenment, I see enchantment, a, a time for you to enjoy enchantment and enlightenment. Again, you're noticing and bridging the unseen and the seen. What else? We got the storm spirit, the chaos and joy. <laughs> this one really wanted to come out. No matter what is going on, I see you uh, like being like this eagle, okay, up in the sky, <laughs> maybe away from drama or pettiness that the world or others or maybe even family members or close friends want to, you know, maybe stir up, take what resonates. You're not giving into that. You're noticing 
and gravitating to t more sweetness and joy. And also know that during a t time of chaos, you've got this beautiful gift that you're either owning right now or that you will own and see, you know, that you really are a joy and miracle bringer to those that need it. It's like you are really in tuned, instinctual with your environment, with the spiritual realm. So you know how to navigate yourself and keep yourself safe, even in the midst of storms. But we were just talking about how you are very strong here with that um, generosity here because you have weathered enough storms. So take it easy. What else? forgiving and learning. Okay. I see this as like judgment card in the sense where you've had enough of something here. You've awoken to something more deeper and meaningful for you. You are learning how much peace is important for your, your well being, Right. And also there may be, you know, someone who may uh, want to apologize because I'm getting something about clear communication here. So there may be a, a clearing up of communication where there may have been misunderstandings or perhaps something where someone wants to come clean. Just take that if it resonates. But you've released and healed the past and you're just going to be experiencing more love in the present moment. Because I see you in this place of the eagle spirit, which I, again, get the king, or I don't know if I mentioned this, but I sense that it's the king and the queen of swords where you're just, you're able to fully acknowledge all sides of a situation and, and yourself remain in a place where you can be objective and be fair to yourself, to the situation and others. And so you're no longer doing things to make others happy because it, you've done enough of that. And it's not that you're, you don't want to make others happy. It's just that you are now making yourself happy and you're just tuning into others that are already happy so that you're not feeling like your energy is, um, being sucked, right? Because others may expect you to help them all the time. And you just can't do that. You just can't. It's, it's your season to enjoy yourself. Okay. What else? make a wish. You've got like this nine of cups here, satisfaction, uh, feeling gratitude and coming into a magical moment, making a wish and enjoying its manifestation. Anything else? Oh, there is more friendship, make a date for a play date with one or more friends. Also, this is going to just keep you in tuned and aligned with all these things that you're going to discover that you're manifesting. So I do see you having a good time, getting out there, being a lot more social, uh, perhaps even meeting new friends. Anything else? Nope. Playtime. Okay. We were just talking about this. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations. Just expect miracles and manifestation. Okay. When it comes to the blessings that the universe is delivering to you. All right, Taurus, that is actually it. So I hope that you enjoyed this love and light.